with you. At least this should be a common ground for everyone. We should defend international law. In the spirit of your title of Hard Talk, you're completely wrong. I'm not offended, but I, I want to hear you're why. You're completely wrong. Hard Talk on BBC News. It's 6 p.m. in London. This is The World Today with Geetha Guramuthi. Israel says it conducted a strike targeting senior Hezbollah leader Ali Karaki, who is the head of the Southern Front. The Lebanese Health Ministry says more than 270 people have been killed, including women, children and paramedics, in the heaviest Israeli bombardment yet in the south of the country. In a video message earlier, the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu urged Lebanese to get out of harm's way. I urge you, take this warning seriously. Don't let Hezbollah endanger your lives and the lives of your loved ones. Don't let Hezbollah endanger Lebanon. Please, get out of harm's way now. Prosecutors say the suspected gunman arrested near Donald Trump's golf course wrote a letter saying he planned to assassinate the former president. Also coming up on The World Today, is reclining a seat on a plane an acceptable practice? Etiquette coach William Hansen joins me later to discuss more. Welcome to The World Today, an hour of international news from the BBC. Lebanon's health ministry says at least 274 people have been killed and more than 1,000 injured in Israeli strikes today, the deadliest day of the Israel-Hezbollah conflict in the last year. Israel says it is broadening its strike.